eligible bachelor, eccentric billionaire David Savage is in the news today after he held a press conference yesterday morning. The dashing entrepreneur claims to have hidden a massive treasure somewhere in the city, kicking off riots and violence throughout New York. More as this develops. The president officially left the White House yesterday amidst rumors of scandal and corruption. The vice president told voters today not to worry. The U.S. probably won't have a corrupt president again. Probably. The oil embargo is causing gas prices to continue to skyrocket across the country. As of this morning, a gallon of unleaded reached firstborn child, up from yesterday's arm and a leg. More on this as it develops. A rat infestation has taken over Manhattan in recent months. Officials are concerned that the vermin could cause an outbreak of the plague amongst the residents of the city. In other news, street vendors are slashing prices due to an overabundance of meat. More as this story develops. Traffic is backed up throughout the city as hordes of the undead terrorize Lower Manhattan. Commuters are reporting that people are being eaten alive throughout the city by what is being described as grotesque monsters, which is a nice change of pace for anyone taking the subway. The U.S. government is scheduling the removal of troops out of Vietnam. Lieutenant General Shepard told reporters, we've heard the American people and we know they no longer want boots on the ground in Vietnam. Well, for the next few years, anyways. National pride is at an all-time high as the nation looks forward to celebrating its anniversary. State officials have begun the planning of a massive fireworks demonstration in New York Harbor. Meanwhile, British representatives wait patiently by the phone in the hopes of reconciliation. Abyssal esophagus continued to dominate at the box office over the weekend, despite protests over the adult nature of the film. While religious groups are calling for a boycott, the general public is calling for a sequel. This is an emergency broadcast system notification directed by the president. This is not a test. Normal broadcasting has ceased and will be replaced with news and information for your immediate area. This station has interrupted its regular programming at the request of the United States government to participate in the emergency broadcast system serving the Manhattan area. If you are not located in the Manhattan area, you should tune to other stations until you hear one that is broadcasting news and information for your area. You are listening to the emergency broadcast system serving the Manhattan area. This is the emergency broadcast system. This is not a test. A wide-scale biological threat has infected Manhattan. All routes into and out of the city have been closed permanently. If you are still in the city, seek immediate shelter and tune into your local television or AM radio broadcast stations for further instructions. This is the emergency broadcast system. This is not a test. All exiting civilians or personnel must be biologically screened before attempting to leave the quarantine zone. Any attempts to leave the city of Manhattan without proper authorization will be met with immediate military force. This is the emergency broadcast system. This is not a test. The city of Manhattan is under biological quarantine. If you are in the city, seek immediate shelter and avoid contact with any contaminated individuals. Military
military and medical assistance will be arriving shortly.